Hey everyone, my name is Nerdy. Today we're going to be playing some How to Win. Oh, hello. How are you? Welcome to our game. In this game, our players decide the rules. When we started this game, it was the summer of 2020. If you recall, that was a very eventful year. As you play this game, you will make decisions that affect the world. You will see the decisions of those 2020 players who created that world, and then you'll tell us how to create an entirely new world. But before we can begin any game, we need to know how to win. We asked our players to decide how to win our game. We gave them two options. Make the most money, slay the dragon. And the majority of our 2020 players chose make the most money. So that's what we did. While we made this chapter, the UK was in full national lockdown. Everyone had to stay in their homes in order to contain a new unknown and deadly virus. Everyone that is, except key workers. Many working for minimum wage in unsafe conditions with limited protective equipment. This is a game about making money. You will win when you have made the most money. Have fun. Greetings, new employee. And welcome. Welcome to BTM Wealth Productions. Success. Integrity. Aspiration. These are just a few of the words used to describe our great company, as per company approved nouns as objective guidelines. As a new member of the BTM family, You've just taken your first step to making money. But here at BTM, we know that it isn't enough to just make money. You need to make the most money. We know that you are passionate. You are hungry. You're ready for a world of champagne, yachts, private islands, and absolutely no union involvement. You need a world without obstacles without distractions, without sick pay. If you want to make the most, you have to do the most. You have to be the most. BTM. Because there's nothing more than the most. Right, there we go. Show's over. My name is Susan. I will be your fulfillment advisor. I am here to show you your role, your place, and everything you have done wrong. I'm going to be brief because your time is my money and because you bore and disgust me. First, what's your name? Nerdy. It's going to be Nerdy. I'm going to be Nerdy. Great. To save time, I'm going to abbreviate your name to Nobody Cares. Sounds great, boss. Great contribution, Nobody Cares. Next, what are your bank details? Were you actually going to give your bank details to a complete stranger? Isn't that hilarious? What kind of incompetent are you? Let this be your first lesson. Trust no one. This is a doggy dog world and those dogs that get ahead? They're cannibals. Been eating nothing but dog. Gives them mad dog disease. It's terrifying. So relax. The company already has your bank details and legal ownership of your house. So welcome to the Dream Factory. This is the BTM Wealth Warehouse and this is your money-making module. This is your new home. Just like your real home, your money-making module is safe, comfortable and entirely the property of BTM. This is the money maker. Click your money maker now. Okay. Congratulations. You have just made your first money. How do you feel? Um huh. What is that you said about my house? Um I'm gonna say incredible. I think incredible. Nobody cares. Your job, no. Your entire purpose from now on is to make money. With every click, you'll make money for BTM. As a token of our gratitude, 
We will let you retain a small portion of that money for module upgrades and personal improvement. For example, some employees like to buy gifts for their fulfillment advisors, just to show they care. This is charming and of course completely optional. Buy it now. Okay. Oh, I've got to uh, yeah, buy it now. Show your fulfillment advisor you care. Oh, that's good. Would you like to purchase a gift for your fulfillment advisor? Yeah, buy it. Go on. How generous. You shouldn't have. Now, there is much more to explain, but I just cannot stand the sight of you any longer. So I'm sure you'll figure it out. Just keep clicking that money maker. And remember, So long. I apologise. I I wasn't reading all that. <laughs> it was going far too fast for me to read that. Okay, so let's make some money. Money, 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 money. Increase your productivity by enhancing your clicking fingers. Would you like to purchase the reinforced button gloves? Yes. Your money maker has improved. Oh, look at that! Now we're making some money. Let's do. Complete annual maintenance check. Last check completed January 2003. Would you like to perform module maintenance? Yes. Your money maker has improved. Show off your unique personality. This upgrade will help you stand out from the crowd. Would you like to purchase a BTM brand personal identifier? Yeah, okay. Ooh. Hey. That's quite cool. Enhance your module with inspirational art. Would you like to purchase a motivational photograph? Yes. Inspirational that. The work of two workers for the wages of one. Would you like to double your money? Yes, I would. Oh. Okay, I now have two buns. Congratulations, BTM family member. It looks like you fully upgraded your module. You have unlocked another gift for your fulfillment advisor. It was probably appreciated. I don't know which one to click because I can't click them both. That's 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 a terrible upgrade. That was the best. That was the most expensive upgrade on there. It's just terrible. Look at it. Do you know what? I'm gonna get to five hundred, and then I think I've deserved a lunch break. Okay. Congratulations, BTM family member. It looks like you believe you've completed enough work to justify taking a lunch break. Are you sure you've done enough work to go to lunch? It's feeding time. That's great. While you're away from your module, we'll be debiting your account at our minimum aspiration rate of 100 money per minute. Step right this way to find your dedicated nutrition space. And remember, in work chokings are currently up by 126%. Don't let yourself be another statistic. Enjoy your meal. Hi, hi, newbie. Hey, how are you doing? Always nice to see a new face. Um, hi, nice to meet you. Well, aren't you a polite one? Hope they don't be that out of you too soon. You can call me Yaz. I've been here a little while now. Seen a fair few newbies like yourself come through. You'll be surprised how many don't have time to speak to their fellow co-workers. The amount of people who are just watching the money counter slowly ticking down. Trying to get through the conversation as quickly as possible. But you're not like that, I can tell. No, of course not, let's chat. Oh, that's great. Now put that money counter away and I'll introduce you to the gang. Guys, say hello to the newbie. Hello, me Tina. Salutations, good colleague. You may call me Grimillifor. The three of us have been working the modules for some time. Watched a lot of workers come and go. But we'll be out of here soon. Once we've done our time. Where did the others go? Depends. Some work hard enough to get promoted. 
Some move on to something else. Some of us don't make it. I'm here until I can save up the money to start my own business. Grimilla falls here until he can collect the system. Just a few more clicks until the next upgrade. Tina was sent home sick a little while back. But the BTM health and welfare team said it was safe for her to return to work. Tina, fit for work. Tina need pay rent. That's the spirit, Tina. And no need to worry about any contagions, friend. We asked if there was any danger and we were told that there was nothing to worry about. As long as the fulfillment advisors could keep working from home. Tina is so dedicated and brave. We arrange a big applause for her every week. Apparently that works just as well as medicine. Or proper protective equipment. Tina bring face masks from home, knitted with love by wife. It's amazing what you can do with the right attitude and good old fashioned gumption. Of course, you're hoping to be a film filmer to advise yourself soon, aren't you, Glim? That's right, and I'd wager I'm almost there. It's all about applying oneself, learning the system, and getting oneself noticed. How'd you get noticed? I'm glad you asked! It all comes down to my grand plan. Oh no, don't get him started. Not plan talk. Not again. Okay, before anything, I didn't actually touch anything that. It skipped through on its own, so my apologies. I could not keep up with that. Attention, loyal family members. You have exceeded your allocated nutrition time. This has earned you a new encouragement incentive. All bathroom privileges have been rescinded, and your water supply has been appropriately disconnected. Thank you all for your hard work. We love you. Well, back to the grindstone. Gah, quickly, back to the plan. See you soon, new work friend. <coughs> it was nice meeting you. Attention, nobody cares. Attention, nobody cares. Your fulfillment advisor would like to speak with you. Good luck. Oh. Back so soon? It's only been about a decade since you decided to bunk off and binge eat. Let's see how your money counter has been doing while you've been gorging yourself. Oh dear. It seems you've racked up a substantial debt. Isn't that hilarious? Looks like we've overestimated your abilities. Clearly the task of clicking a button was just too much responsibility. We need to find another way to make money that keeps you away from such a high-pressure working environment. It's time to think about expanding to other business ventures. Now, I know what you're thinking. Because if you're not thinking it, you'll be sacked. How are you going to click buttons while you're away? We asked a small group of people to vote on what to do next out of three options. Make someone else do it. Take the button with you teach the button to click itself and the winner was make someone else do it oh I see you're going to make someone else do it I'm impressed someone will have to double their workload to make up for your inadequacies welcome to the world of management we have selected three money makers who we feel could be doing a bit more choose who will take their place I'm gonna go for re-encourage a lazy worker because I think that that would be the right the right call. Recently sent home due to illness. Returned to work after re-evaluation by BTM medical team. We are grateful to Miss Tina for returning to work. She is very brave. Recent productivity has dropped to unacceptable levels. Current click efficiency 15%. Re-encourage this lazy worker. If there's time to be sick, there's time to click. So if there's time to be sick, there's time to click. Excellent choice. Or not. I don't care. Send her in. Thank you for opportunity. Tina, try best. Tina, very grateful. Tina, feel cold. Yes, yes, you're very brave. We'll arrange a special applause for you later. 
Tina running out of face masks. Enough talking. This is a place of empowerment, not a knitting circle. Less chatting, more clicking. Sorry, boss. There we go. Now you're free to spend your talents elsewhere. Remember, BTM is entitled to a portion of all money you make on company time. Even after you've paid off all that debt. So, which new business venture would you like to explore? We asked a small group of people to offer suggestions on what to do next. We picked our favourite three and put them to a vote. Potato-based pyramid scheme. Workplace raffle. Open a jelly baby factory. And the winner was... Potato-based pyramid scheme. And so, you chose the only sensible method you could think of for making money. A potato-based pyramid scheme. To achieve such a scheme, you know there is only one place you can go. After a long, hard journey, you eventually reach... The Potato Pyramid. Halt! I know why you have come. But be warned, traveller. None shall access the Potato Pyramid without first getting through me. The Potato Prophet. Once again, someone wishes to harness the limitless potential of the mighty potato. Do you believe you have what it takes? I eat potatoes for breakfast. <laughs> Silence! It's not for you to decide. Only the potatoes themselves can deem you worthy. What? Wait, who does? They have deemed you worthy. Array. <laughs> now listen closely, chosen one. The sheer versatility and profitability of the mighty spud. It can be overwhelming for lesser mortals. You will need to make great sacrifices. Big decisions. Delicious mash. Are you prepared? I shall not let you down. It is time. Prepare yourself, chosen one. For now, the potato profit shall teach you to make potato profit. The potatoes are yours. Where shall your spuds be sold? Ooh, mobile chip fans. Your chips are sweeping the nation. Chip apocalypse plus 1,000 money. Time to upgrade your vans. What should we make? Armoured mash tanks just plough through people. Your armoured mash tanks are delivering directly to the consumer. Weapons of mash destruction have invade their homes and invade their hearts. Mash saturation. Plus 8,000 money. Time to diversify your potato folio. Ooh. Oh, I really... Let's make potato furniture. Your new couch potatoes are selling like hot potato cakes, which also sell. Cake it till you make it, plus 12,000 money. What other potato products should you produce? Oh, and potato clothing. I think everyone wants to wear a spud. Bad news. Your new jacket potatoes have caused severe burns. Harsh browns, minus 2,000 money. How will you escape the massive lawsuit? Um, let's change the law. Good news. You found a senior politician who loves patatas blavas. They let you change as many laws as you want. Plus 10,000 money. Dauphin what? You're on fire. Spudden death. It's time to invest. Um... Oh, potato hedge for stodge market. Our stock is up 127 potato points plus 500,000 money. Uh, buy low, sell high. Good Dow Jones in partner. Plus 2 million money. Um, where do we become partners? Uh, redistribute our T-bills. Great investing partner. Plus 50 million money. Um, I'm pretty sure it was solo adventure. Uh... Clatterise our debt obligations. Ah, oh, shit. We've been investigated by the government. Frame the potato profit for all wrongdoings. Success. All criminal charges have fallen on the potato profit. Oh. Curse ye. Congratulations. You are now making more money than any other BTM employee. Isn't that hilarious? 
Excellent work, nobody cares. Thanks to my incredible guidance, you have flourished into a wonderful company asset. And now, because of my efforts, BT Hem has the most money in the world. Your efforts, you... No, oh, no, the potatoes are mine. All mine. They're there, dear worker. Every family member has their place in this great victory. There's no I in Susan's team. No, you can have the money. The, potato, the big potato is mine. Read your contract, cretin. You work for us. We own you. Any money you have is the portion of money we decide to give you. No matter how much you earn, we will always have more. You will never have the most money while you are the property of BTM. How will you escape BTM? We asked a small group of people to offer suggestions on what to do next. We picked our favourite three and put them to a vote. An unbearably long, tedious legal dispute. Become president of the USA. Topical humour. Hmm. Throw Susan into a volcano. I think I can guess where this is going to go. And the winner was... Throw Susan into a volcano. Curse you, nobody cares. Well done. Taking advantage of the little no management emulation clause in your contract, you free yourself from BTM on the grounds that the vice president is now a pile of smouldering ash. As such, all proceedings from business ventures outside of BTM premises now default to you. Which means... You have now officially made the most money. Congratulations. You win. There is a legend. One which the townsfolk speak of in hush whispers. The legend tells of a great and powerful potato seller who amassed the most money out of all of the world. The potato seller had worked hard, struggling through hardship and betrayal. And after sacrificing everything, they were finally on top. The potato seller had won. They placed their money into an enormous volcano, far, far away within the Cayman Mountains, where not a single coin could be touched by the hands of man. The, we the weathers of time or any form of progressive taxation. At the foot of the mountains, the townsfolk toil. Their land has been stripped of wealth and of potatoes. But every day a new hero arises with a dream of making the most money. They start from the bottom, scraping together their first few money through favours and clicks, hoping one day to take that potato seller's place. Because in this world, that is the only way to win. There's no room for cooperation or trust. This is how things are, when only one person can win. We'll see you next time. For a brand new story, and a completely different way to win. See you there.